frappé. At the start of every class, there is that same look of doubt, that same sense of wonder. USAID, the U.S. Agency for International Development, is teaching farmers in Haiti a remarkable new way to grow rice, one that promises to expand their harvest and their incomes beyond anything they ever imagined. When we first came, we set up the experiment, people were totally aghast. What are you doing? Are you playing? Are you joking? This novel approach, introduced by USAID in several African and Asian countries, contradicts centuries of rice farming wisdom, a way of using less to get more. It's all based on the strikingly simple formula. 50% less water plus 90% less seed equals 200% more rice. We did not believe this system in the beginning, but I know you have to take chances in life, so I tried it. Jean-Tal Rebecca, a third-generation rice farmer, gathered several workers and began applying each step in what is called the system for rice intensification. It begins with the same seeds, but virtually everything else is different. The seedlings are planted much earlier, only eight days old instead of the traditional 30 days, so there's less stress on the roots. They're planted individually, not in clumps, and much farther apart, so there's less competition for sunlight and nutrients. There are no more expensive chemical fertilizers. It's now all natural mulch and compost. And what's most surprising, the rice fields are no longer kept flooded. They're drained regularly. When you let the water drain, you allow oxygen to penetrate in the soil and give more growth to the plant. And with less water required, more regions can start growing rice, saving Haiti some of the hundreds of millions of dollars a year it now spends importing rice. For Jean-Tal, the results were extraordinary. Within months, he nearly tripled his harvest. Right now, it makes a big difference for me and my family because now I have more money. More money to purchase a new house to send his daughters to a better school, to buy more land where he's adding eggplant and onions and corn to better feed his family and his neighbors. Having seen Chantal's results, other rice farmers here are also switching to the new technique. This whole area is now growing more prosperous thanks to an inspired project with a simple formula. 